Master's Wheel, and I'm back with another video. And today I got the Moto G6 Play. Uh, I've had this about two weeks now, and I wanted to come back and tell you what I think about using this device, this device for that amount of time. Uh, you get quite a bit for this device uh, for 79 80 bucks. Uh, it's not a power powerhouse device, uh, but it would be a good backup device or... For an older person, uh, this is just my opinion, that may need a smartphone. Uh, but if you're a heavy user, uh, then this device is probably not going to be for you because uh, it only has a uh, 427 processor and 2 gigabytes of RAM, uh, 1.4 quad-core processor. Uh, that does kind of bog down at times. Actually, my Moto uh, E4 does a little bit better performance than this one in my opinion with an older uh that's an older device as well so let's talk about the and uh, the hardware here as you can see in the box it comes along with a uh, clear case which is not bad uh, but when i first initially got this device i thought this was glass on the back of it uh, but this is plastic uh, it's a fingerprint magnet as you can see uh, but they did a good job on the, uh, the way this device looks uh, it's very, uh, it looks very premium, Feels doesn't feel bad in the hand, uh, but you can definitely tell after a while that it's plastic. Uh, you do have a 13 megapixel camera on the back with a flash, fingerprint sensor, which is not bad. Uh, it works pretty good. It's not the fastest in the world, as you can see, but it is functional. Uh, you have a micro USB charging port on it, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a 5 megapixel front facing camera with flash. Now I did put up video samples of this device. Uh, actually the cameras are not too not too bad on it. Uh, the rear facing camera takes some pretty good pictures and the video was pretty good as well. Uh, the front facing camera does a pretty good job on selfies. I'm not a big selfie type person but uh, it was adequate. Uh, you do have a little bit of a camera hump on the back, but if you got a case or something on it, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, but overall, nice feeling device in the hand. Uh, the 5.7 inch display is only 720 by 1440, uh, but it's bright. It's very bright outside. Uh, it actually looks pretty good. It looks better than my uh, Huawei Mate SE right here. It's actually uh, brighter than the, than the Mate SE is by a long shot. Uh, and the Mate SE costs quite a bit more than that, but uh, it has some better specs on the Mate SE. Uh, like I said, this one uh, can shoot video at 10, uh, 1080p by 30 frames per second. Not too bad, kind of shaky uh, on my video test that I did on it, but overall it's not too bad. Uh, this has the Snapdragon 425, which uh, kind of bogs down a little bit if you got a bunch of apps open. Uh, you can't run a bunch of stuff at one time. So what I started doing is just closing out apps as I use them. And uh, that kind of helps it out. Uh, this has a 4,000 milliamp battery, which I get great battery uh, strain on time, at least five hours easily or more. And uh, it works good. So... Uh, as you can see, it hums along pretty good. Uh, sometimes apps stutter, kind of stutter to open up, uh, but not bad overall. Uh, now it has some, some pretty neat little features, features here, the modal actions, uh, some things that I like about using this phone, uh, comes with this at the price range. Of course, you got your, my, uh, modal key right there, which you can assign your fingerprint, uh, to open to sign in to different websites and apps and stuff and some of your moto actions here uh, You got the quick string shot by doing a three-finger touch See if I can get it to work and that's a string shot right there uh, You also have the chop twice To turn on your flashlight as you can see uh, You do have the quick twist of the wrist to Turn on your camera, go right into your camera real quick, and uh, uh, you got to swipe down to shrink your screen and things of that nature. So it uh, has a lot of uh, different features on here for this for the price range of this device. And uh, like I said, 
The only downfall for me is the uh, Snapdragon 427 processor. Uh, it kind of uh, bogs down every now and then, but overall for the price, I think you're getting a pretty good deal for this this phone for 80 bucks. Uh, I recommend it. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Catch y'all in the next video.